Wow. Oh my god. Di ba? Uh, di ba na heart attack? So what do you do when when someone when someone gets a heart attack if you're a if you're a first respond if you're a potential first responder you give them CPR, right? So that's what they did. And uh, all right. But if CPR is not not done properly, you may break a rib. Uh, it's what almost happened in this episode. Okay. Final scene. Uh, the final scene is actually the post-credit scene. All right. Wow. Yeah. All. Everything is well uh, in the current body until. A needle comes in, sucks them all in. Alright? Sucks them all out of there. Kaiti. Si, uh, Kaiti si 11. Kaiti si 1196. Yung Bobain White Blood Cell. Alright? So. 2153 and his. Uh, and his. Uh, and his ward. Yung kanyang. Uh, mentee. They now find themselves in a new body. Uh, but the difference is, this looks much sicker. <laughs> They're in a much more unhealthy body. Alright? Uh, Anong uno sumulubo sa kanila? Isang pneumococcus yata yun. <laughs> Grabe. Parang hindi yan eh. Parang wala ka pa. Parang... Can't can 2153 get a break for once? <laughs> Alright? Overall, it's probably one of the best finales of Winter 2021. Alright? I'll tell you why. The pace, well, siempre, uh, the pace is fast because um, the red blood cells have uh, rallied just to, just, to give, just to give motivation to the body to, to restart, basically. And through CPR, yes, it did. But, um, the body did not exactly, the the body's heart did not exactly restart through CPR. The, the three ways on how to revive a heart after it suffers, after um, uh, after it suffers a heart attack, of course. Uh, first procedure is of course CPR. If that doesn't work, defibrillator. If that doesn't work, mm, stent surgery na. Kailangan dalhin yung kagad sa hospital yan. Right, so, uh, wow, okay, the clot was that serious. The clot was that serious. So, they had to perform stent surgery. Grabe. I like the pace. Okay, don't get me wrong. I like the pace kasi uh, it's a life or death situation. E, double time ka. Double time ka. Now, the flow... Hindi no, wala naman masyado mga nag-cambio rito eh. I think the only gear shift here was when they got transfused to another body. Yun. The post-credit scene. Right? I consider that the final scene kasi yun ang... Uh, that was the only... That's, that, that's the only... That's yun yung huling fresh scene na pinakita. I love the flow. I love the flow. And of course, the plot, getting over from the last... Getting over from the last episode, so talagang it really felt like a two-part finale. Kasi isang condition ng yung pinag-usapan dito. Heart attack. Wow. In my honest opinion, this is one of the best finales of Winter 2021. It's one of the best. Kaling. Um, heart attack and the, and the emergency procedures involving it were perfectly portrayed in in this fin, in the finale. It was they were all perfectly portrayed. Kali. And well, uh, if there's any indication, it might get it might be back for season two. Let's see. Uh, if you've seen the finale, the uh, the final scene, the most spent one. Yun ang hinte. Yun ang hinte. So. Cells of Work Cold Black Finale. 
thumbs up. And a big do. <laughs> you know, uh, I am going to miss Celso for Cold Black because it was a totally different take on how the immune system works. Basically, because we are dealing with a, with, a, with an unhealthy body here, unlike the one in the one in Celso Work Classic, which is more or less healthy. Pero ito talaga, sa mutsari na, sakitin eh. Sakitin ang, ang body na to. Alright? Now, for the finale, it suffers a heart attack. It's probably one of the scariest ways to die. Alright? It's one of the scariest ways to die. Kasi, you don't know where you're going to get it. You don't know where you're going to get it. When and where. Let me be clear on that. Pwede ka, pwede kang abutan sa mall, pwede ka rin abutan sa bahay mo, or you can, or much worse, you can, or you can, uh, you can suffer, you can suffer this during work, in the middle of work, or uh, you can have a heart attack at a place you're not familiar with. Literally, you're caught in a bad place, and suddenly you get a heart, suddenly you have a heart attack. No one's going to help or a place where no one can help you. Wala. Umulag ka na Alright? The heart attack, like I said a while ago, the heart attack and the, pro and, the, and the emergency procedures involving it were perfectly portrayed in the finale. Of course, uh, of course in episode, uh, in episode 12, the previous one. Galing. Alright? If uh, if the finale doesn't uh, uh, doesn't shock you into uh, living a living a healthier lifestyle, I don't know what. Right? Uh, this episode can be a the finale can be a reality check to everyone who has um who, uh, who has heart who has heart issues, okay? whether it be direct or indirect. Uh, the mind's indirect, we say. Um, the like I, like I've been, like I've been telling you guys about, uh, I got, I got uh, coronary vessels that are smaller than usual one for my age, for my age, okay? for my age. They're, they're somewhat smaller than usual now. So, pero uh, naman sa gamot. Naman sa gamot. And of course, uh, proper rest, and I, and I, I am doing the keto diet. Wow. Bottom line, I am going to miss this anime. And, well, it deserves a season 2. Okay? It deserves a season 2. And, tsaka, nakita nyo naman yung final scene, di ba? There's, there's your hint right there that it may, it, that, that it, it may come back for another season. Although, not, uh, not confirmed in any way. So, still, well, Lightning Films! Two thumbs up say you a, a, uh, a very sincere two thumbs up to you guys for giving us this guy for doing uh, the spin-off of sales at work classic right uh, you're uh, well uh, in in twitch terms you're pog <laughs> you're poggers right so again Sales at work, cold black finale. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, mga ka lifestyle. Well, that's it. Uh, another, uh, another, another good anime has uh, has ended this uh, this anime season. Let's just carry on, mga ka lifestyle. The winter 2021 anime season is about to close, and well. Sales of work, Cold Black is, yeah, is telling us that. High Rise Invasion episodes 10, 11, and the finale. Wow. Grabe. Well, I guess the war has begun. Grabe. This is a huge victory, but uh, they, they, had cash, they had a cash on. Final scene. Well, Judy wasn't able to rescue her brother. 
here. But she reassesses, she reassesses the troops. Ayun. She now has three powerful angels on her team. Wow. And uh hmm. Ano to? Holding hands pa. Iba 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 pa kaka holding hands nila ni ano eh no? Ni ni Mayo ko eh. All right? What the hell? But anyway, the actual final scene is this. Um, kinumpronta ni Aika, ni Aika o si Rika, kuya ni Yuri. And shows him some of a code. And last, well, all we heard, all we heard is, um, is Rika screaming. Like, uh, like, uh, like, like, like he's being tortured or something. Okay. The full screen breaks. That's where High Rise Invasion ended. Right? Overall! Grabe! Each episode, uh, each episode you must not miss. Right? I said these are actually the final three episodes of this anime. So, I like the pacing. Right? If you condemn. So that, well, so that you could comprehend what I just witnessed, um, the pace went from fast in episode 10, slow, but to slow in episode 11, then to the finale, all hell breaks loose. Right? Kumbaga, episode 11 was a, was a really good setup for the finale. A really good setup, and of course, uh, episode 10. Uh, Major, what you call this? Uh, has its own gear shifts, right? But the most important gear shifts happen all in the finale, okay? And the plot of, the, of these three no hiccups, <laughs> no hiccups, okay? was no hic uh, was no hiccups, but. No hiccup style for high rise invasion. That's, that's all I can say. So, high rise invasion episodes 10, 11, and the finale. Right? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Okay, here's the biggest reason why it is a well, uh, a well balanced last three episodes. Well balanced. Because uh, episode 10, may jo fast pace kasi may 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 patayan ang nangyari. Episode 11, uh, quite a good setup, slow. The pace, the pace slowed down a little bit. Right? Kasi they were they were already preparing for a war. Okay? Well, confirmed na as of the finale, it if if High Rise Invasion comes back for another season, it will be Yuri versus Aikawa. Yeah, it's it's the way I see it. Okay, this is the way I see it. They will be the only two god candidates that will matter in the next uh, if next time High Rise Invasion comes back. If it does, if it, if, if it does come back, okay. Malagang, wow, right? Um, <clears throat> Even though uh, Netflix Netflix premiered all 12 episodes of this anime, I think you should binge watch it. Okay, for your for your eyes' health sake, nalak. But this anime has its own deep dive factor. It would be a total waste if you binge watch it. It would be a total waste because uh, what well, the anime tempted me to get into deep dive mode all the time right per episode I treat it as per episode basis not just uh, I I wasn't just reviewing the three episodes at the same time but I uh, did, but it made me deep dive into each one because there's always a scene there that that will make you deep dive into the whole episode all right Wow. Studio Zero G. 
I salute you guys for delivering this uh, this anime, although it is from Netflix. Okay, but uh, a lot of questions uh, have been raised after uh, after the finale. Like, uh, yeah, number one there. Will High Rise Invasion Will High Rise Invasion be back? Based on what I saw uh, in these final three episodes. I'm getting a good feeling that it will be back for another season. Right? I said there, uh, a lot of a lot of things have been unresolved after after the finale. Yuri wasn't able to rescue her brother, and well, and um, the battle between Yuri and Aikawa has is, hasn't happened, right? And uh, well, number three, um, will Yuri and Mayoko become a confirmed couple? Hmm. <laughs> All right. Through the finale, High Rise Invasion has just confirmed itself to be a Yuri anime. <laughs> All right. I got, I got no words. I got, I got few words to say when it comes to. Uh, the, the dynamic between Yuri and Mayuko, right? Their characters uh, received the most development here. Oh, they, oh, sila nga, silang dalawa nga ang bida rito eh. Silang dalawa talaga ang bida rito eh. Um, I think they have the best character. Both of them had the best character development. Alright? Uh, for Winter 2021. Right? Second only to Alma of x Arm. Right? Second only to Alma of X Arm. For me. Right? Uh, yeah, but they, uh, they did develop as they're slowly trying to become a couple. Right? If you know what I mean. Uh, nothing wrong with that, alright? Nothing wrong. I'm. Uh, I got no problem with Yuri animes, alright? I got no problem with Yuri animes. So, yeah. Let's see how that develops. I bet it'll be a it'll be a, it'll be a part of their character development once uh, High Rise Invasion returns, if it does. Right? Nothing's confirmed yet. So again, High Rise Invasion 10, 11, and the finale. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, Twitch. Whew. I never thought I would. Uh, Review this kind of an anime. We're in uh, its its broadcaster premiered all the episodes at the same time, right? Hoping, well, I guess most Netflix no, most Netflix users are binge watch or binge watch addicts. That's why uh, they did it that way. For me, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't watch. I wouldn't watch any anime by uh, through, uh, through binge watching. Right? At the most, yeah, three for review purposes. But for personal viewing, uh, the most I can do is two. Right? And it's not every day. <laughs> okay? But we have to bring back that lost art form of watching animes on a weekly basis. Week in, week out, you get to watch the latest episode. You watch it on a per episode basis. It's a lost art form. But uh, going back to High Rise Invasion, I got a good feeling it's going to uh, it's going to return for another season because a lot of questions need to be answered after the finale, right? A lot of questions. Galing! Alright. Probably for the first time uh, I've seen Chukasa cry. Alright. Well, you gotta understand, those are tears of joy kasi. All this time, kahit kalabanin niya si Senko, gagawin niya. Uh, he just wants his sister back. He just wants his, uh, his baby sister brought back to life. So, uh, According to Seiko's theory, um, 
the nitric acid has a peripheral effect sa mga sa mga mari revive from from getting petrified. True enough. Uh, she's she's healthy as a horse. Okay, so laking tuwa ni Chong. Ang laking tuwa ni Chong asa ng, ng kuya. Laking tuwa ng kuya. Final scene. Well, sa so, something unexpected happened but Tsukasa and Senko uh, made a uh, made a tag team effort to to defeat Yoga. Nagmanlabi si Yoga eh. Well, he got uh, he got the short end of the stick when it came to Mike and Saiyans. <laughs> Alright? Grabe. He got the shock of his life. Yun ang masasabi ko. <laughs> He got the shock of his life. Alright? Overall, it was an awesome episode. Okay? Naramdaman ko. Naramdaman ko sa episode na to that uh, season 2 will be ending next week. The pace, well, yung pace, I, I got no complaints. Okay? It was understandably fast kasi it became a race against time because hey, when those um, when they saw Chrome that they were missing some sticks of dynamite they were aware that the whole tribe when they're new allies they si, si, were who is this? the one who is in the I forgot si Ukyo especially si Ukyo that one si Yo and si Yoga kutsabahan sila. And they helped Homura escape. The pace was understandably fast. And yun nga eh. Uh, well, Yoga was about to kill uh, he was about to kill Mirai. Yung karirevive lang ng kapatid ni, ni Chukasa. But Chukasa, the big brother that he is, sinalag niya yung sinalag niya yung sipat ni Yoga. He was he was the one who got stabbed. Alright? The flow not wala nang masyadong cambio rito eh. Pilang mabigat na cambio rito is when Chukasa and Senko decided to uh, well be allies again. Okay? So basically sinabi lang ni, ni Chukasa let's be with both might and science. That was a bit disturbing. <laughs> Yun ang pinakamalaking cambio rito. Okay. That was the biggest gear shift in this episode. Alright? Aside from, of course, uh, aside from Mirai getting uh, getting revived and actually seeing actually, actually seeing Chukasa cry from joy because of that. I could, I could not call that a gear shift moment eh. Kasi uh, nakakantig ng puso eh. Alright? Nakakantig ng puso. And the plot? Galing. I did not see this coming. Okay? That uh, that yoga would be the first to break ranks after after everything that has uh, everything that has happened. Yoga would be the first one to break ranks and well uh, and and he almost and he almost made an example out of Chukasa's own sister. Right? Siyempre, di pa Chukasa na uh, may mangyari may, mga, may mangyari pa masama sa kapatid niya so that's why he did that right umira lang pagkakuya niya doon umira lang pagkakuya niya doon uh, you, you, you got on March of Casa for that right being uh, uh, being the main villain of season 2 being, well, being the main villain of this uh, of this entire anime okay? he's been uh, he's been treated like a villain since uh since the latter half of season one, yeah. although I did not see the entire season one, all right? But I, but due to um, previews and teasers, I got the idea already. Okay, so yeah, it was an awesome episode, and I really felt that the finale is that the finale is coming next week because of this, all right? And it's good to see. It's good to see Seiko and Chukasa on equal terms on um, on equal terms again. 
right? Kasi big three sila nun eh, nung nag-upisa si Season 1. Si Chumasa, si Taiju, and of course, and of course, Senku. Alright? So, talagang ano dun eh, sila talagang tatlo eh. Pag, uh, the first triumvirate of the uh, of this primitive world. The first triumvirate. So, Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, episode 10. Two thumbs up. And a big toe. <laughs> Two thumbs up and a big toe. It deserves it, alright? We're on the road to finale. We're on the road to the finale. And the finale is just next week. So, this is an awesome setup for the finale. Now, I, uh, I don't know what, I don't know what the, uh, what the finale will look like, but if, if there's any, if there's, um, any, any idea that will, that will give me of how the finale will go down, it's through this episode. It's through this episode. And, wow, the, the, the fight scene was, fight scene was really cool. Chukasa fought yoga his way. Senko fought yoga his way. Okay? So, yung might at saka science na talagang nag-tag team sila rito just to take out a uh, just to take out a dirty bastard like yoga. Grabe, grabe tong episode na to. Right? Grabe tong episode na to. Dr. Stone is now uh, an anime that, is, that has done nearly everything. You have uh, of course, you got, you got the education factor. Science. Science rules in this, uh, science rules this anime. You got slice of life. Right? The, the slice of life moment there is when Chukasa gets reunited with his, with his sister, Sigi Lai. And of course, the action. Uh, yeah, highlighted by that fight scene. By the fight scene here in episode 10. So, yeah, practically Dr. Stone has done everything. But I can't say it's a it's a well-rounded anime because it still has an education factor, right? For me, it deserves it because of its educational value. Okay, you're getting a science lesson each episode, right? And we're still in the pandemic. There's no school, okay? and uh, and on and teachers can only do so much just to make you learn science. So thank Doctor Stone for that. <laughs> so again. Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, episode 10. Two thumbs up. Right. Two thumbs up. I can't wait for the finale next week. I couldn't wait for, for the season 2 finale next week. What's that? I can't wait for the finale next week. Higurashi 2020 finale. I almost counted the I almost counted this one out because So what if you So what if you change the fates of some people Then all of a sudden in the final scene she wants to make sure that uh, she that the she I'm talking about is Satoko okay She's now, uh, she's now making sure that that she and Riga will never be will never be apart. She already has a um, uh, the kit that will probably she'll use that uh, probably she'll use that on Riga. Uh, the kit that will uh, what you call this? The syringe kit that has Hinami, that has the Hinamizawa syndrome virus. Okay. So, and what's mo- and what what made the final scene more disturbing is Yua, yung tinatawag niya pa, no, It's not it's not Oyashiro, okay? Um, Sato has Sato has uh, proverbially confirmed that it's not Oyashiro. But Yua is now starting to call Sato Oyashiro sama. Okay. <laughs> now we know how evil Sato can be. Alright? Eh, mukhang 
na nasilimba na sa kapangyarihan eh. Much to the enjoyment of Yua. Overall, yeah, it's a fitting end to a, it's a fitting end to a uh, reboot. A fitting end to a, to the reboot of that classic horror anime from the, uh, from the 2000s. Okay? And, it seems it's not yet done. It seems it's not yet done. The pace, yeah, uh, mabagal. But, when, uh, the pace picked up when Satoko stole that syringe kit. Alright? And wow, okay, uh, the flow, pinakamalaking cambio rito was, um, was when Yua started calling Satoko Oyashiro-sama. Alright, grabe. I wonder, I, I'm still wondering why you a star, why you were chose to call Satoko Oyashiro. Okay? Uh, tapos yung plot, what, what, the, uh, it's the Higurashi reboot, so the plot keeps changing. This is no different. Okay? I have seen uh, two plot changes here in succession. Uh, it involves the Hinamizawa Syndrome arc. Pero, totally different versions according to Satoko's liking. Okay? Uh, again, overall, yeah? It's a, it's a great finale. It's a great finale. So, Higurashi 2020 finale? Thumbs up. Bakit? Well, I guess I guess the final scene uh, was screaming volumes at me that I should give it the two thumbs up. All right. Now uh, let me. Uh, I want to fill you in on this, uh, mga lifestyle, because it doesn't feel like a series finale. It felt like a season finale, and. I'm gonna explain why. All right, I'm gonna explain why later. Because well, I don't think uh, well, Joey the Anime Man actually passed this one up. All right. Uh, in my honest opinion, I think he made a big mistake. He made a big mistake. Okay. Joey the Anime Man, if you're watching, if you're watching this right now, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, bro. You made a big mistake passing up the Higurashi reboot. All right. So, I am I am now assuming that you did not watch the finale. All right. It has a slow pace. And well, uh, and it has the biggest plot twist probably in the whole, uh, probably in the whole show. All right. Even I was surprised. I thought, oh, Satoko is now the Uyashiro sama. What is she going to do to Rika this time? With that, well, I am I am assuming that she's going uh, she's going to use that syringe kit on Rika. She is going to inject her with with Hinamizawa syndrome. Hinamisawa syndrome is the COVID-19 of this show. It's the COVID-19 of this show. Basically. Sorry, Joey, but you you made a big mistake passing up this anime. It's a little bit of a slice of life anime. But uh, the finale had its more had its uh, had those really disturbing parts wherein Yua started calling uh, Satoko Oyashiro and uh, from the look in, from the uh, from the from that look on her face she's totally down with it okay, she's totally sold on it okay, with this much power grabe wow 
But I never thought, um, I never thought the Higurashi reboot would end this way. I, I thought, um, uh, there would be closure in, uh, in the entire storyline. But, I was wrong! <laughs> I was dead wrong. So again, Higurashi 2020 finale. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. But, hey, if you actually saw the finale, the post credit, uh, the post credit, there will be a season two. You heard it, guys, You're right? There will be a season two because what? To tell you honest, uh, like I like I said a while ago, it didn't feel like a series finale. It felt like a season finale, and my uh, my hunch was correct when. When the final post, when the final post credit was, uh, was uh, when the final post credit appeared. Next, uh, next time, Higurashi, uh, Higurashi, Higurashi Soto. Uh, no, um, so, uh, So, we will have a season two. Okay? The Higurashi reboot will have a season two. So that post credit confirms it. So what? Well, and while we so while we while we're waiting, well, let's just totally see for what uh, what has happened in this uh, uh, in this first season, right? And if you still you still can't upset, accept that um, uh, Higurashi is uh, Higurashi has been turned into a slice of life anime, no, nope. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, but wow. This is quite a turn of events. Satoko is now the villain. Okay. Uh, once, once the new season of the reboot uh, comes along, she will be the new, she will be the new villain. Confirm nayon. So by then, I'll see you guys. The Promised Neverland second season episode ten. Wow, I really thought Vincent is going to, uh, Vincent is going to, uh, what you call this? It's going to wrap them up. Pero, it has been revealed. It's part of Norman's plan. Final scene. Tumulo na, tumulo na mga civilian demons sa kanila. Those uh, that have received Mujiga's, uh, Mujiga's evil blood. So, well, you know what that means, guys. They do not have to eat humans anymore. Okay, so I guess what? Well, uh, I guess the farm system is now overdone with. <laughs> the biggest twist here, okay, I mentioned kuna, is when uh, Isabella actually helps them out in uh, what? Well, uh, in uh, in totally uh, totally ending this farm system. Oh, kumbaga pumanig pumanig lahat ng breeders sa mga bata kay kila Emma so, uh, uh, even uh, even Peter Ratley himself uh, was uh, was flabbergasted what what Isabella did kaling kaling overall it really felt like uh, part 1 of a season uh, season 2 uh, yeah Part one of a season finale. All right, the pace was well, um, totally understandable. Okay, totally understandable. Yung pace, yung medyo mobilis, kasi well, they had to explain um, the supposed run out clearly. No, bala, eh, it's part of the whole plan. It's part of the whole rescue plan to to put off the enemy demons into believing na. They got an insider. Yung flow. Unang cambio. Uh, the balloons that were shot down were fake ones. Eh, may, mga, may mga explosives para sa loob yun. And, yung, uh, and some of those balloons contained the, uh, the, uh, the, what you call this? Uh, the Lambda Survivors. Yung, yung grupo ni Norman. Yung grupo ni Norman na, 
yung grupo ni Norman nasa may nasa nay talaga lumaban right uh, they took out the they took out the initial party of demons right then then yung pangatlong kabyo rito of course uh, nakita-kita okay, nakita-kita lahat ng bata then then probably uh, the fourth the fourth gear shift came when Isabella decides to join uh, to uh, to switch sides and join uh, and join Emma's group tulungan kasi y- yung mga breeders sila may baril eh. and they're also humans uh, who were forced to work who, who were um, forced to work against their will forced to work for the demons against their will kasi meron silang mga chip dito na ini-install na the moment uh, the moment they rebel against the demons sasabog yun or uh, what uh, I don't know kung sasabog or uh, patitigil yung puso nila parang ganun it's, it's gruesome right? it's really gruesome they, so they will meet a gruesome end if they do that so, uh, I guess I guess mom has had enough of their bullshit so eh, so mama na siya kila Emma sa, sa grupo nila and the biggest gear shift here was one uh, when the civilians decided the civilian demons decided to to help them out so sila ang pumigil sa reinforcements na uh, nagdarating sa mga sa mga farms sila ang pumigil and of course the part the um the the group led by Sonju and Buchika yun yun ang pumunta kay lang Emma so, wow okay then probably the um, the last gear ship of this episode was when uh, Uh, Emma just uh, offered uh, offered Peter Ratri to to join them. Uh, you, you know how Emma is maawain maawain talaga tong babaeng to. Eh. Maawain talaga tong batang to eh. So um we learning nga rin siya ni ano eh ni Isabella eh. Uy, guys siguro ni Isabel. No gabi mo Emma. Kumulo lang pizza niyan. Parang ganun ganun yung sinasabi niya. But wow. All right. I really felt that um The Promised Neverland Season 2 will end. Okay? Uh, it's a great part. Uh, I, I I really feel it's a two-part finale. Kasi this is not over yet. This is not over yet. So, The Promised Neverland Second Season Episode 10. Two thumbs up. And a big two. Yeah. Two thumbs up and a big two for this one. You know, um, I don't know why, uh, why people... Why people are still passing upon this? Uh, just to uh, just to binge watch the just, just to binge watch reruns. I don't thrill don. I don't thrill don. Right? You know what? I've never agreed with binge watching, binge watching animes, binge watching anything. Well. Unless I got uh, unless I got that much time in my hands, right? But as a um, as a long time anime fan, sanay ako manood ng anime per week. Eh, yung masarap kasi yung masarap kasi yung tinututukan mo yung anime eh, week in week out. Okay? So for so for the initial part of the week, you're gonna do your usual grind. You're going to uh, you're gonna do what you have to do to survive to to live. Uh, to live the life you want all right but when it came when it comes time to watch that anime okay i've done my uh, i've done my work uh, i've done all that bullshit now i can sit down and relax just to enjoy the latest episode uh, uh, call it the old school way but it's the more sensible way of watching anime that you're gonna you're gonna wait the latest episode of uh, of an anime every week so you got something to look forward to you got something you got something to look forward to for this week Maga, sige uh, habang hinihintay ko yan ito muna gagawin ko okay so when the time comes for the for the latest episode of that anime to air okay drop everything uh, I'm, I'm done sige watch na I don't know where uh where the practice of binge watching started or when right 
it's um it's stupid okay it's stupid why are you going to uh, binge watch a single anime when you already have the opportunity to watch it every week okay? episode by episode by episode para manamnam mo ang bawat episode okay so that you can deep dive into each episode watching animes on a watching uh episodes of a single anime on a weekly basis it's it's an art form it's a lost art form to me these days i don't know why especially to the promised neverland ang kante lang lang ngayon it's uh, episode 10 before if you're gonna binge watch uh the first nine episodes you won't you won't have the mental momentum anymore for episodes uh, for the final two okay? you're not that at, you're not that excited anymore all right so yeah power tip ko sa inyo mga ka lifestyle never watch a great anime on a rerun okay on its rerun as much as possible watch the anime on its first airing right it's a stupid idea to binge watch not only it not only it is um unhealthy to your eyes okay you won't get the uh, you will not get the um the deep dive factor of any anime that way okay the promise neverland has that deep dive factor Papanoorin nyo to uh, in uh, oh, yari, uh, one, yari, season, two has, season 2 has ended You're going to watch all 11 episodes in one day You'll probably not get the uh, What you call this? Uh, you, will, you will not get the, uh, the true essence of, uh, of this anime Much less any man Much less any anime all right. So again, the Promised Neverland second season episode ten. Two thumbs up, right? Two thumbs up. In typical Promised Neverland fashion, no teasers. But we all know the finale is coming. Okay. Episode ten. Uh, it's season two is just an eleven episode run. Now I don't care if you're complaining that uh, this season has just skipped. Um, the two most important arcs of the manga I don't give a shit okay they can always they can always uh, turn that into uh, an OVA or a movie or an entirely new season kumaga prequel to season 2 pwede naman ganon okay quit complaining and just watch the finale next week Jujutsu Kaisen episode 23 Whoa. <laughs> What a character development episode this was Nakakatakot yung tumayin expansion niya no? Ni Poshiguro hayop na yan Wow! He fought the same cursed spirit na pinalahura noon ni Sukuna yeah, In episode 4 uh, You still remember that cursed spirit for uh, in English, uh, the cursed spirit that uh, that Sukuna violated in that episode. Grabe. I feel sorry for that cursed spirit. Uh, the way uh, the way Poshiguro exorcised him, took him out. Grabe. Whew. Final scene. Well, uh, what you call this? Nobara and Itadori went their separate ways because they had, they had to deal with different cursed spirits. And and the one um, the one being handled by Nobara suddenly gets pissed off because uh, someone took a look at his back. Uh, he's, he doesn't have the prettiest back in the world, but that's his actual face. <laughs> I think the real battle has just begun. Overall, 
Another awesome episode from Jujutsu Kaisen. Grabe. The pace went slow to fast to slow to fast. Right? Paganong ganon. Because, well, Toshiguro uh, had to tell his backstory. And, uh, yeah. The most important backstory of this, uh, of this entire anime for me. Right? The flow. Ganda ng kambyo. Ganda ng kambyo. Okay. The first gear shift happened when uh, Nobara and Toshiguro had to split up kasi on uh, hinigog si Nobara ng ano eh. Uh, the one they're dealing with right now, you know, the one that doesn't have a free back. Okay. And the second gear shift came when boom! Domain expansion time for Toshiguro. If you're caught in that mock, there's no way out. Okay? If you're a curse spirit, there's no way out. Talagang, wala. Almost zero, zero chance of survival. Grabe. And of course, the final gear shift came when, when that, um, when that pretty back curse spirit got pissed off. Okay? That's the, it came, then it, it came in the final scene. Uh, how appropriate, okay? It came in the final scene. And of course, the plot. Getting over from the last one. Galing. Um, this episode was well as Overall, it, it was a well-executed episode. Galing. Speechless ako. <laughs> so, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 23. Two thumbs up. Thumbs up. Well, uh, like I said a while ago, this is uh, it has character development episode written all over it, and it's targeted at Toshiguro, right? I say, well, uh, I, I know you've seen it. You seen it in the episode. Gojo uh, has spotted his flaw. Yung mindset niya ang problema. Okay. Sukuna himself spotted the flaw. Uh, if you remember in episode 5, napuna niya si Ipushiguro. Sabi niya, what a waste of talent. Sayang daw si Ipushiguro. Alright? Basically, that ticked Ipushiguro off. And basically, well, he went nuts. He, well, we can, we can say he lost it in this episode. Kasi, bigla siya ng domain expansion eh. Okay? He got pissed off at what both Gojo and Sukuna uh, said to him. As he was, uh, he was recollecting. He was, re he was recollecting his thoughts. So, natandaan niya. Yung sinabi ng dalawang nun sa kanya. Alright? Grabe. He went nuts with this domain expansion. Uh, kaya niya napatay ang core spirit na to. Something that Sukuna was, something that Sukuna did, deliberately did not do. Uh, talagang, well, he violated this core spirit. Be, in, in Filipino terms, pinalahura niya. Pinalahura lang ni Sukuna ito. Alright? Grabe. I think, excuse me, this is one of the best character development episodes I have ever seen. Alright? Hands down. This is one of the best character development episodes I have ever seen. Grabe. Talagang heart stopping on action and of course the um, uh, how <clears throat> how what is how the momentum was built up leading to uh, leading to Toshiguro's uh, first use of his domain expansion. <laughs> Shut up ako. Shut up ako. Alright? So again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 23. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, bitch. So, well, I again felt the road to the finale. <clears throat> I felt that in this episode, well, the finale is next week. Totoo naman eh. Okay? 
next week will now be the finale. So uh, we're going to end. Uh, we're going to end the Jujutsu Kaisen with a uh, with something that that well, that again does not involve Sukuna, but uh, it involves only one of his fingers. Nahawa kawa pa ni ni Pusiguro. Nahawa kawa pa niya. Na nabawa niya dun sa sa napatay niyang curse spirit. So, we'll have to see how that, how that will go down. I'm looking forward to an awesome finale. Okay? An awesome end to, to this arc. So, tamang tama. Jujutsu Kaisen will end with this uh, will end with this arc. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 41. You know what? Uh, I thought Kakuto was the one having issues, but uh, as it turns out, Ranze was the one having issues. So, what? So, ninyong kumalas ki Kakuto. Kakuto challenges her to a duel. Final scene. Uh, this is one blood twist. Kaya pala kumalas si Ranze, lilipat pala siya kay Neil. Alright? Grabe. I was caught off guard here during the final scene. Eh, kaya, kaya pala yung gusto, kaya pala niya gusto kumalas kay Gakuto, lilipat pala siya kay Neil. No, no wonder uh, no wonder she doesn't want to tell Gakuto or, e or, even, uh, or even the rest of Team Sevens. Wow. Simply, simply wow. Overall, it's a really good episode. Okay, it's a really good episode. Now, uh, what's called this? Uh, the pace, of course, uh, because of the duel, uh, because of the duel, a Yu Gi Oh! episode picks up the pace. So this one's no different. Turn by turn by turn by turn. Yeah. Okay. A duel sets the pace of a new of, a, of an entire Yu-Gi-Oh episode. I'll tell you honestly. It's rather fast. Yeah. But the but the duel was exciting to watch. Okay. The flow the only gear shift in this episode was well, Ranze uh, offering her services to Neil. Right? No wonder she left. Okay? So, I say, she's been keeping it a secret the entire episode. Eh? So, wala uh, not gear ship. Doon nagkaroon ng gear ship. Wala nang biglang gumano ni. Sa final scene. Yeah. I think that that's the biggest, I think that, that's a big plot twist. Alright? Ronze is now siding with Neil. Okay, siya. And, of, and of course, the plot. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I, I like the plot, right? I really like the plot. Although, this isn't the first time. This, is, this isn't the first time that uh, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! The Yu -Oh franchise has, uh, has dealt with such, uh, with such plots. Hindi mo nilipat muna sa kalaban or Pala eh, espia ng espia para sa kalaban, right? Uh, it has been done before. Okay? It has been done before. But don't get me wrong. Overall, it's a really good episode. It's a really good episode. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens episode forty-one. What the hell? Bakit? Well. I think I've seen this before in, uh, in oh GX. Okay, a lot of uh, Jude's uh, closest uh, closest friends and allies have all been pirated by uh, by uh, by the main by the main antagonist of season two. Okay, you you manager ni Edo Phoenix. Okay, he's the he was the real he was the real arch villain there. Ginawa, uh, nagbuo siya ng kulto within Duel Academy. Uh, at pinag, pinagkukuha niya lahat ng mga magagaling na Duelist. Including, uh, including some of Jude's closest allies. Yan, sila Asuka, 
si Majome, uh, even Misawa at a time. Even for a time, si Misawa. But well, we all know what happened. Jude eventually won them, won them all back and setting up the final showdown with that guy. Arcana Force versus uh, Arcana Force versus Neil Speech and Sanomiyari. Kaling. But that was the original, so uh, I wasn't I wasn't actually surprised when this kind of a plot twist came to sevens. Kumaga dati nilang dati nilang katropa lumipat sa somewhat well, we, we can still consider Neil a rival. Kasi he was the one who brought the maximum summon to Rush Duel. Eh? Like, excuse me. So, where was I? Oh yes, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 41, I gave it the quantum up. Uh, yeah, mainly because, well, I've seen it before. Basically, I've seen that, uh, that type of uh, plot twist before. I felt really good when I saw it when I watched the episode, but uh, my, brain, my brain is telling me right now that I have seen it before. So, hence, the one up. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 41, one thumb up. One thumb up, which, this isn't the, this isn't the first time I gave, uh, I gave uh, the staple <laughs> of my review roster the one thumb up. This isn't the first time, but, we all know that Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s will now be airing on Sundays in Japan. So, now, how will what they what they will be now review sevens? So now, well, I think everybody's asking now. That will now all depend on uh, on the spring roster okay, on how it will on how it will look like. Right now, I'm still using, of course, the uh, the winter the winter 2021, the winter 2021 roster. That that will be effective until next week. All right. So yeah, I'm personally excited about the next episode. Right. I'm personally excited about the next episode. And yeah, we'll see. Right. We'll see. I haven't decided on. I haven't, uh, I haven't finalized. Okay? Tell you the truth. I, up to now, I haven't finalized the uh, the spring, the spring 2021 roster. Okay? I haven't finalized it yet. But there are some animes that uh, that might fall mostly on probably on, no, probably on Sunday. So that might affect when we usually review Yu-Gi-Oh Sevens. It can be Sunday, it can be on Thursday after after winter. So we'll just have to, uh, I'll just have to, uh, I need to, so I need to finalize, uh, I need to finalize the roster by next week. Only then, uh, only then I can say when we're going to, what day we're going to review sevens for, uh, for spring. Right, so until then, let's wait for the next episode. King's Read episode 25. First and foremost, Sunrise Beyond, I forgive you for the previous one. All right, because you just delivered one hell of a setup. Grave. Reheat finally kills Malto. Alright. Final scene. Right. Di nila mahanda lang ang 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 Dark Lord and the Holy Sword. Who now has the Holy Sword? Then Casan and Company comes along. The stare down. 
the stare down of the century happened between the Dark Lord and Castle. Magandang finale to! <laughs> Magandang finale to! Grabe! Overall! Well, it, uh, whatever I said, whatever I said in episode 24, uh, the previous one, well, like I said a while ago, I am forgiving Sunrise Beyond for that because it is one awesome episode. Alright? It's one awesome episode. Yung pace, medyo may, mabilis. Pero, eh, it's understandable. You're one step closer to the finale already. Alright? The pace should pick up. Yeah. Totally relevant and understandable ang pace. Yung flow. Alright. <laughs> First gear shift. First gear shift. Alright. So, Reheat decapitates Maldo. But realizes it's not going to bring back it's not going to bring back his friends or anyone that has uh, that has been killed by the demons reality check but the biggest gear shift came biggest gear shift probably of probably of this entire show came when uh, Ka when team castle when team castle uh, joins the party and stares the dark lord down all right Oh, there's only one. There's only one thing I could say when it comes when, uh, when it comes to the flow, and because of these two gear shifts, Armageddon is now here. <laughs> Armageddon is now here. <laughs> okay, and and the plot. Okay, well, it's obvious. Stand alone on plot na to. Okay. You can you, you can also consider this uh, part one of a two-part finale. Because dun na puto le. Nung nag stare down sila sila kasa na itong Dark Lord eh. Dun, 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 ano yan? Wow, grabe. Talagang kinabuga ko dun. Nung nag stare down yung dalawa. Ra napil ko yun. Ramdam ko yun. The plot was, well, the plot was superbly executed. Okay? The plot was superbly executed. Grabe yung episode na to. You can consider this Either as a uh, just a setup episode or part one of the finale, right? Either way, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. So, King's Raid episode twenty-five. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. You know what? Again, to Sunrise Beyond, I have totally forgiven you. No, from the bottom of my heart, I've totally forgiven you for episode 24, the, the previous one, which was, uh, which, yeah, we gotta admit, it's, it's a totally unnecessary episode, because we're on the road to the finale, and you, you put in a recap episode, but don't worry, I've forgiven you for that, right, you're forgiven, you're forgiven for that, but, well, um, and I, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to, I'm getting to understand why you did it. Because probably the final two episodes are are that heavy. So you're probably preparing us viewers for what's going, for what's uh, for what's about to happen. Right, the heavy stuff. Yeah. So again. Sunrise Beyond and OLM, I've completely forgiven you for episode 24. Alright? So, wow. Probably, um, uh, in all indications, the finale will be, wow, well, the showdown, uh, probably the showdown, it's a showdown 100 years in the making. Okay? Castle, the sun goes up against his own father, who is now the Dark Lord, si King Kyle. Okay, father versus Santo. So, wow. 
What a way to complicate the finale. Okay? What a way to complicate the finale. So again, King's Reign episode 25. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. Final ep well, the finale has been teasered, but I wouldn't trust it yet. Okay? I would not trust it yet. So it's our job, it's our job now as viewers and well. I'm sure King's Raid has had a following since its uh, since its PC game days, and also go to, and I'm uh, and I'm guessing that it has getting it has getting over to the anime version. So, tumuto na lang tayo. Let's just uh, let's just uh, wait for the next airing. Sit back and watch it. Yashahime finale! Wow! Puta! The final showdown that. So big that. Um. Planet Earth wasn't enough for the. for the battlefield. Grabe! And, um. Final scene. They weren't able to kill. To, they weren't able to kill Kirin Maru. Pero it left him, uh, shall we say, um, thinking about his own life, <laughs> okay? Uh, he retreated, okay? It's all, it's obvious to all. He retreated, right? But, but technically. Uh, this was a draw. This was a draw. I say both sides, both sides literally, literally na puruhan. Setsu na <coughs> na down siya. Towa yung moroha talagang naubusan sila na nakas. And it's, it's obvious in the it's obvious in the episode that Kiri Maru couldn't could, could not continue anymore. This was a draw. Okay? This was a draw. Overall, one of the best finales, if not for, if not for win, if not for 2021, just for this winter muna, <laughs> okay? The pace, of course, this is a fight to the death, all right? Now, Riku gave the assist, okay? He's busted wide open. Opportunity now for the three girls to attack. All right. Then, uh, of course, uh, in typical Kirin Maru style, he ridicules the three. So the pa the pace, the pace picks up even more. All right. You flow. I've seen so many gear shifts in this, in this, uh, in this episode. Because well, Finale. First gear shift. Nakuruan ni Nakuruan ni Riku si Kirin Maru. Then the second game along when. Wow. All right. Towa and Moroha. Just talagang they just they just dig deep. Their true forms. Their true forms were released. Their true forms were released. The final gear shift was. Well. Kirin Maru li literally retreating. Okay? Kirin Maru literally retreating. Pero, Toa calls this as a loss, but no. It's not the way I see it. This is a draw. Kasi, naubusa na lakas yung dalawa. Si Kirin Maru naman, he's badly beaten. Okay? He's a bloody mess. So, he had no choice but to retreat. So, that's a... To me, that, to me this is a draw. And I thought, ooh, this is not over yet. This anime is not over yet. Hey, got done a plot, all right? Superbly done. Super, talagang a plot fit for a finale. Talagang tama hinala ko. This was a final show. Well, uh, no, hindi pala, hindi pala tama hinala ko eh. Kasi, 
Sumuro retreated. Zero retreated. Only Kirin Maru stayed. But it was probably uh, the worst decision he's made. Probably the worst decision he's made. Alright. Nakatang episode na to. Alright. One of the best finales at least for at least for this anime season. At least for this anime season. So, Yasahime finale. You ready Twitch? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Pero, wow, okay. Very touching yung final scene. Okay? Umira umira na pagkatatay ni Shizumaru nito. When he passed on his own Bako Saiga to Towa. Talagang, talagang he, he literally gave it. He literally gave it to Toa. So right now, um, Toa has two swords. Just like, just like her father. He just likes the Shumaru. Um, ano nga ba yung pahala ng isang yun? Ano nga ba yung pahala ng isang yun? But anyway, but, ang, but what matters now it, is that Toa now has her father's sword. The Bako Saiga. Yun ang talaga kay si Subaru. Right? Grabe, ang grabe naging ending. Whew. This ain't over yet, guys. Right after the finale, right after the post credit scene, yung uh, when to or Toa was left with the Bako Saiga and her... Eh, hindi pa patay si Setsu na. Hindi pa siya patay. Lumiti! Biglang lumiti! So, talagang nakuruhan lang siya. Alright? So, yep, season 2 is now confirmed. Product, production for season 2 has been confirmed. So, we got no we, well, As an Inuyasha fan, I am now uh, somewhat obligated to wait for that. Okay? Uh, I never thought it I, I never thought it would get another it would get another season. I say by the, look, by the looks of it, hama pinapalag ko yung hama pinapalag ko itong finale na to. Sabi ko, nako, dito na magtatapos to. Mukhang di nila mapapatay si Kirin Maru eh. Alright? The man, the guy is a god. Okay? He's a god. So, for, for, for the three of them to injure him like that, mag-isip-isip mag -isip -isip na si Kirin Maru. It won't be long until the three girls fulfill the prophecy. Sooner or later, mapapatay siya ng tatlong to. Okay? Mapapatay siya ng tatlong to. So, that will probably be the central theme of the entire anime. Okay? Their, uh, their never-ending quest to kill, to kill Kirin Maru. So, baka doon na mag-revolt ang probably, okay, season 2. Walang... <clears throat> okay, imagine. Alright. What has happened? What has happened in Yasahime? All the four perils are dead. Okay? Three of them, napatay nila, napatay nila tatlo. The last one, si Totetsu, napatay ni Riku. Right? Tapisan mo yan. Tapisan mo yan. Then, okay, so, that leaves Kirin Maru defenseless. At ito naman, nagalit sa kanyang ate niya, si Zero. Eh, gusto pa yata niyang kalabahan ni si Zero eh. So, Zero said in the finale, from now on, we're no longer brother and sister. It, well, in Filipino terms, bahala ka na sa buhay mo. <laughs> Alright? So, well, of course, Riku, wherever Zero goes, Riku follows. Alright? But uh, before for leaving, but he left uh, he left the gift behind for Toa. Ayun, yung pagkasasak niya kay Kirin Maru. That's an opening. Okay, that's the that was the opening the three girls needed to 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 go to to go to war with Kirin Maru again. Pagkas signal nila yun, signal na. Grabe. Kakaibayan din ito. Um, aside from, apart from the, the season finales of, of Inuyasha, maganda to, maganda ng ending. And I never expected 
uh, Sesumaru to actually give his one and his only remaining sword, okay, his only his only remaining sword to to Towa. Yeah, we all know he's a selfless son of a bitch, okay. He he he's a self he's a selfish bastard. If you're if you're a true blue Inuyasha fan, you all know that uh, how uh, how uh, how arrogant Sesumaru is. For him to give his final his final weapon to to his, uh, right now his only remaining daughter. Yeah. Umila na umila na pagkatabi niya dun. Kaling. So, what? Well, sunrise. Thank you for what? Well, giving all the Indonesian fans around the world this spin off. Okay. Ako, I personally thank you. I never thought Inuyasha would get a spin-off for that matter. Uh, well, you surprised us all. And the finale and the finale of this, one of the best, at least this season. This this anime season. Right? So well. well the, only, the only the only thing I can say is right now to you, uh, uh, lifestyle, Twitch. See you again for season two. Final season episodes 14 and 15. In all seriousness, wow! <laughs> Levi, all right, Levi Ackerman has uh, shown once again how much, uh, how how bad he really wants to kill Zeke Yeager. He uh, he blows up the Beast Titan really good, so much as to uh, sever sever all of Zeke's arms and legs. So, there na siya, Right? Then, uh, attaches a, uh, attaches a thunder spear on him. Nakapag, nakapag ginalo niya yung leave niya kahit konting-konti lang. Mati-detonate yun. Alright? Now, final scene naman sa episode 15. Unfortunately, Zeke commits suicide by triggering that bomb. Now, now we have no idea if uh, if Levi is still alive. I say, uh, wow, right? Talaga na kinapamatay na si Zeke dito. Talaga hindi siya bubu. Talaga hindi siya bubu ayon ni Levi after what he did in episode 14. Talaga hindi siya bubu ayon ni Levi. Um, so he had no choice but to, to kill himself. Overall, they're both great episodes. Now, if it weren't for that final scene in episode 15, I might have, uh, I might have looked down on episode 15. Because it's full back story time. Eh. But uh, I deep dived into it and I realized this is the most, probably the most important backstory of final season, right? It's not, it's not as pathetic as Reiner's in episode three. You pace of both, the pace of both episodes, uh, somewhat fast, okay? Somewhat fast in episode fourteen. In episode fifteen, uh, the pace only picked up during the final scene, which is understandable, right? There's a balance pace was well balanced. It sort of slowed down at the beginning of uh, episode 15 because backstory time for Zeke. I don't know, huh? Uh, he actually, well, he actually ratted out his own parents being, uh, being restorationists. Now, the flow. What? What about, what about gear shift to episode 14? Well, uh, the biggest gear shift there is when Aaron tells uh, Aaron tells Mikasa that he hates her, okay, for being soft, for being an Ackerman. Then of course uh, Armin uh, Armin confronts him confronts him in a fist fight, but, which Armin lost, okay. 
be Aaron being the taller and stronger being taller and stronger sabi nga ni Aaron dun ever wonder why ever wonder why did, we didn't fight Armin it's because it's not even a fair fight you know he's proven that that was the biggest gearship of episode 14 now episode 15 alright Zeke kills himself that is probably the biggest gear shift so far in final season. Right? So, we now go to the plot of both episodes. Maganda yung transition. Okay? It was well executed. Bakit? Kasi, yung episode 14, it went from Eren to Zeke through the final scene. Okay? Kasi yung final scene, nag, uh, the actual final scene was uh, Zeke recollecting his his memories of uh, si Mr. Sapper, yung predecessor niya with the Beast Titan. Then, episode four, episode 15, eto na, backstory time. They, uh, they did a good job in, in introducing Zeke's backstory as early as episode 14. Right? Hindi yung biglaan like, uh, like, what, he, like what they did in episode 3. Ano to? That's why I gave it the two. That's why I gave it the one thumb down, right? Ano to back, backstory time in Reiner? I don't wanna hear this. I don't fucking wanna hear Reiner's Reiner's backstory. He is scum, okay? He is a treacherous scum. So uh, I guess Mama learned their lesson. So they uh, they introduced the backstory as early as episode 14. Which was the actual final scene, but I think the official final scene there was uh, Levi putting Zeke in a wow. Okay, I don't, I don't think well, torture is an understatement to what it for what he did to Zeke. Okay, torture is an understatement. Grabe, talagang it's really obvious that he really wants to kill Zeke. Okay? If, he, if, he, if, he's not on, if he's not on order stuff to kill him, why there it baka napatay na niya yun. Right? Sa init ng dugo niya sa taong yun. Right? Grabe. Uh, both are great episodes. 14 and 15. No, we are on the road to the finale after all, so... I'm not. Uh, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised right now. So, Attack on Titan final season episodes 14 and 15. Deserved yeah. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Well, excuse me. Although, although it's a backstory episode, episode 15. It's probably the most crucial one. Because, well. It's Zeke's backstory, name. How we got to, how we, how we got to become vice chief, the military. Yeah. He got, he got into the military in the most corrupt way possible, okay? by ratting out his own parents. Probably legally it was the right thing to do, but come on, you're just a kid. You were just a kid then. Ano na nalaman mo sa mga sa mga revo, mga revolusyon na yan, di ba? You should not get in, you should not get in you should not get involved with that yet. Now, I don't know how Eren will uh, I don't know if Eren knows it na that, uh, that Zeke ratted out, ratted out their parents one time. Kaya napunta ng paradis ang tatay nila. So, there, they had Eren. Ang, ang parents nila pa. Ang parents nila pa na. Now, I'm beginning to understand. I'm beginning to understand now why Attack on Titan has such a loyal following. Right? At first glance, it may look like a complicated storyline. Pero, kung, if you're, uh, if you're an expert level anime fan, an expert level otaku, you would actually deep dive into these episodes. 
Alright? Attack on Titan has that deep, that deep dive factor. Right? Which makes it which makes it a great anime. Which makes it a great anime. Talagang mapapaisip ka eh. Bakit naman ginawa ni CQ? Alright? Bakit naman ginawa ni CQ? And you would actually feel empathy for Levi. Kasi he is an Ackerman. Okay, so at saka, captain siya ng scouts. He's, yeah, captain siya ng scouts. So, he has seen, um, he's seen, he's seen his comrades um, die, become titans, like like what Zeke did in episode 14. Uh, but he had a, but, uh, he had a duty. He had a duty to kill them all. Kasi naging titan lahat eh. Di ba, sana kung katulad nila, nila Eren or Zeke na they'll still retain their consciousness. Okay? And they, these are, they're beginning, they begin mindless titans. So, Levi had no choice but to kill them all before uh, catching up with Zeke. Right? Grabe yung, ano, grabe yung fight, grabe yung battle scene yun. The one involving just him and Zeke. Just goes to show you how, uh, how fucking pissed off Levi is at Zeke. <laughs> Grabe, talagang, uh, it knows no bounds. Okay? His anger for Zeke knows no bounds. Alright? Yeah, it made, uh, it made the storyline, it made the storyline uh, a lot more complicated. Okay? Kaya, the final, se- the final, ep- the, the series finale is now next. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay. So again, Attack on Titan final season episodes 14 and 15. So thumbs up. Thumbs up, Twitch. So, well, like I said a while ago. Like I said a while ago. The, fi- the series finale, it's not just the, it's not just the season finale. Yeah. The Attack on Titan finale. It's coming up in a few days, so well. Ah, hey, let's just let's just wait for it and watch it. I cannot wait. What is going? What is going to go down there? Okay. How 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 uh, how Attack on Titan will actually end? Okay, I can't. I just can't wait for that. X Arm Episode Eleven. Wow. Okay. Whew. Ganteng ane. Uh, this is uh, this is what a uh, this is what a finale should look like. Okay. The boss villain overextends himself just to just to kick the hero's ass, right? But uh, eventually they found out uh, they found out Beta's weakness. Final scene. Well. Uh, their the squad chief was on his one on his way back to Japan when well, something happened. It's an accident, right? Um, wow. Okay, I don't know where that came from. The on our done. on our done. Overall, uh, it's a good part one to a two part finale. All right, it's a good part one. Uh, well, na lang, tapos na. But I think it's not over. <laughs> so with this accident happening to to the chief, base. Tama lang yung ano? Tama lang yung bilis because well, basically if you're if you're if you're the hero and you're going to battle the boss villain, it's a race against time. Okay, it's a race against time. Tama lang yung bilis because. Uh, because it is part of because it is a two-part finale, all right. And the boss villain is um, is doing everything he can just to kick Akira's ass, okay. Kahit kahit magi kahit magi super lakad pa siyang kagod. So flow. I think the biggest gear shift here was yeah when when Akira finally uh, finally beats Beta. 
sends him, sends him down a black hole to number 11's ability. Alright? I never thought Akira would be able to control X arm number 11's ability. Alright? But on a side note, what is going to happen when you gather all six, when you gather all the X arms? Could it be there? Could it be the, these are parts of the uh, parts of the uh, of an of an OP robot from space? Anong ganon ng ane? Anong ganon yung oh, na isip ko eh. Now, of course. The biggest gear shift here was the final scene. Okay, it signaled, it signaled to all the viewers that there will be a part two. That, that this is a, that this is a two-part finale. So, you just you just witnessed part one. Okay, so yeah, you plot well. Obvious, it's not over yet. Okay, so I have yet to say anything about the plot, but. For this episode, uh, its execution was good. Okay? Its execution was good. Because part one was the finale. Eh. You had to set it up for the real slam bang finish. Right? You had to set it up really carefully. It's a good. It's a good part one. It's a good part one. By all indications, we'll be uh, we'll be expecting we'll be expecting uh, call this a fitting end to X arm to this anime. So X arm episode eleven. Two thumbs up. Serve now. Bye. Like a like I told you guys before, it is a, a great part one. Okay, because based on what happened in the final scene, so kasi nabe, to be continued, battle 12. So this one, this this episode is part one of a two-part finale. Right? It set it up real good for part two. So, ano to nangyari sa chief? Okay, that's that's the question it left us. What happened to the chief? So you, you gotta you gotta you gotta give the you gotta give the producers you gotta give the producers that right you gotta give the producers that I say the X arm anime is about to end so you might as well you might as well give the fans or the viewers a two part finale this is a good part one okay that's why you deserve the two thumbs up so now. As the viewer, uh, I'm going to expect uh, an even bigger, an even uh, an even bigger part. Because I'm sinet up na ako. Sinet up ng isip ko for for the real finale, which is which is part two. This finale, kasi talaga. You know, I thought I actually thought it was all over. Then uh, then the final scene came, which which came as a post credit. Ano to? May nangyari pa? <laughs> Sabi ko, punta ka na, hindi ba tapos to? So, I won't be expecting, I won't be expecting a so-so episode for the finale because this is not over yet. It's simply not over yet. Alright? So again, X-Arm episode 11. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. Alright, so, in all indications, next week is going to be finale week, right? Most of the animes we're we're reviewing right now, they will be they will be having their finales. X Arm is one of them, but uh, X Arm's finale is obviously two parts. So I don't think an I don't visual fight can silence uh, can silence the critics now. Okay? I think it, I think they're they're slowly silencing their critics right now because of this uh, because of this two-part finale. Right, it's a great one. It's a great two-part finale. Right now, I'm seeing it. But 
Don't trust teasers. All right. Wait for next week and watch the final episode of XM1. Show Cooking Master Boy second season episode 11. Wow, right? Probably the most dangerous cooking battle Mao has ever been in. Right? And another bonus for me because I haven't seen this in the original series. Alright? I could not remember this. Uh, this uh, this second battle with Yaan. I could not remember this. It's brought up. And I can prove that um that NAS is not, produ it's not production IG, okay? NAS. But NAS probably followed the manga to the letter, right? It's a yakisoba cooking battle, basically. Final scene. Yakan loses. And is about to drink the poison wine. Because that's the stipulation, right? Uh, and for the record, hindi pa patay si Suki. Pinahirapan lang. Right. Overall, it's a really good episode. It's a really good episode. Kasi, pace pa lang, uh, vintage Cookie Master Boy, yung pace. Okay? Vintage true Cookie Master Boy. Kasi, they have to get down to the cooking battle itself. So, it's quite understandable. Right? And well, Mao really wants to get at the cooking underworld right away. Right? Hindi siya nagpatong pick to pick pa. He shackled himself. That signaled the start of the cooking battle. Right? Siya mismo na una. Siya pa mismo na una. <laughs> siya pa mismo na una. The flow. Well, um, the only gear shift I see here. Is when Yakan actually declared his own loss. Na concede siya rito. Alright? And uh, he saved uh, Lee his assistant, the trouble of uh, judging with Mei Li. So, siya na mismo. Sa bibig lang, sa bibig lang niya mismo nang galing. You win, you know, saying, I lost. Alright? You know, Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give some extra notes later about this episode, right? But the but the the flow, okay. The only gear shift in this in this episode was that he declared, uh, he conceded, and proceeded to drink the poisoned wine, right? And plot, plot wise, continue from the next episode, but it can also be treated as a standalone plot. Kasi, ano na eh, nandun na si Mao sa mismong headquarters ng Cooking Underworld. Doon na siya nakipaglaban. Okay? The kid absolutely has no fear when it comes to the Cooking Underworld. He has developed this, um, uh, his own brand of vendetta. Okay? His own brand of vendetta against the Cooking, un against the cooking Underworld. Okay? He's developed that over, uh, over this entire season for facing uh, an honorable an honorable opponent like Yahan yeah he really wanted to settle it because first time they faced the first time they faced each other it was a draw nagroom ano umatras muna si Yahan okay, umatras muna then well you, you got to admire Yahan's uh being well despite being one of the five tiger stars of the cooking underworld, man. You have to admire his own being him being an honorable guy. Like patas kung lumaban. Siya tapi na kapatas. Siya tapi na kapatas lumaban dito eh. Sa lahat ng five tiger stars. So, true cooking master boy second season episode eleven. Nagisip pa nung two thumbs up. Two thumbs up yan. You know what? Nes has done a good job rebooting this. Okay, rebooting this classic. Right? So far. No, but we have to we have to see the finale. In order for my uh, for my observations to be um, to be conclusive. Right? 
I per I forgot what the original animator was in. But for NES, but for um, NES's take on on the well, the manga is also a classic. Okay, according to um, according to long time uh, manga enthusiasts, the manga was also a classic. So I think they, I think they are, I think they, I think they, they were, they are following the manga here to the letter because. Tell you honestly, guys, Twitch, manga lifestyle. I really could not remember this. Uh, uh, this arc in the original series. Hindi ko matandaan to. You can now, you can now openly compare the original to the reboot. Okay, you're now, you guys are now free to compare okay, between the reboot and the original. Right, if you can get a hold of the original. <laughs> Napalo ko kasi sa AXN yun, ang original series, the original Cooking Master Boy. Animax did not exist yet, okay? Animax did, Animax hasn't existed yet. We had AXN to thank, to, uh, to, had, uh, to have us uh, show the original series, alright? Galing. Ang ganda ng rip, magaling. Well, actually, um, this episode, this particular episode, talaga hindi ko matandaan. Okay. I could not remember this episode in the original series. Even even the the Five Tiger Stars as a whole, I could not remember. I could not remember them. Mukhang hindi tinaka ng original series ito. I think it's um by the way it looks uh, this this entire season. The entire season two. It feels like the most. It feels like the manga's most important arc. Ito eh. Okay. I think this is the manga's biggest arc. Five Tiger Stars. Okay. I think. I think this is the final arc of the ano. I think this is the final arc of the manga. Uh, I don't know. Kasi, uh, I'm. Not, I'm not a manga enthusiast. So what do I know? I'm just. Oh, I'm just. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing, but I cannot wait for the final episode of season two. Okay, but the way it looks, it's this is part one of a two-part finale. So all I have to do is wait. Okay, I cannot wait to sink my teeth into that episode. So again, True Cooking Master Boy second season episode eleven. Two thumbs up. So, ano pa bang hinihintay natin? Babae, mag-relak-relak muna tayo habang hindi pa pinapalabas ang finale ng True Cooking Master Boy Season 2. Grabe! Right? We now see the difference between Escalor's version and Mael's version of, uh, of, of Sunshine. Yung pangalan ng Grace. Wow! Huge difference! Masa? Mael looks the first demon. Eh, mukhang di pa ako nakakabangon eh. Alright? Final scene. Meliodas is now out. The new Demon King is born. Alright? So, to everyone's surprise. I guess, um... Merlin's forbidden spell did not work. Napuuna si Milyodas. <clears throat> Overall, it's an awesome episode. Right? It's an awesome episode. Yung pace mo medyo... Tama yung bilis. Alright? Kasi, well, laban-laban, laban-laban, pusap-pusap, pusap-pusap. Naglalabo-labo lang nga sila eh. Yung uh, flow... Ano mga gear shoes dito? Uh-huh. Three big ones. Una, yung... Uh, well, Mael now gets into the fight. Of course, uh, ang, unang sumulu- ang unang sumalubong sa kanya actually is the first demon. Nukes him. Ganun lang. Right? Then, uh, uh, when... Uh, the second gear shift came when... Merlin announced that five minutes is all she needs. 
to complete the to complete the Chrono Coffin spell. So sinabi ni uh, sinabi ni Mael kay Zeldris kasi sila na magkaharap noon eh. Mael told Zeldris, "You beat me in 5 minutes." All right. You win. But if I beat you in 5 minutes, get your ass out of here. Okay? So eventually Mael beats Zeldris. Okay? So um, well, and of course the third the third and final gear shift of the movie, Meliodas is now out. Okay? He's the new Demon King. But um well all Zeldris wanted was to was to get Gelda back, yung girlfriend niya nun. And he's hoping now that Meliodas lives his lives up to his part of the bargain. Up to his end of the bargain. Okay? Yung plot maganda. Alright? It just... Uh, it is actually a carryover of several plots. Uh, dating way back at season 3. So, nag-culminate lahat dito. Alright? Nag-culminate, nag-culminate na, sa, na, na silang lahat dito. So, it's really impressive. I love I love the way um, the plot was executed here. Galing. Whew. It was an awesome episode. You know what? Um, these are the times when season fin- when season or series finales are being uh, are being aired. But wow, I don't know. Uh, why am I getting Why am I getting the uh, the road to the finale feels this early <laughs> for for this anime, right? Why am I getting it this early? Episode ten, palang eh. Uh, but yeah. But we all know that after this, the seven deadly sins will end. So uh, just may, just just maybe remember that. Just maybe remember that. So the seven deadly sins, Dragon's Judgment, episode ten. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. And a big two. You know. Okay. Let's assess. Meliodas is now out of his cocoon. He's now the... Uh, technically, he's now the new Demon King. Eh, para parang nag-iba na itsura niya dun eh, no? Nag-iba na itsura niya eh. Uh, although, complete, hindi kompletong pinakita yung itsura niya. But his face and... He had long hair. And... Uh, he, he, had a, he had a somewhat disturbing smile. Okay? Yeah, no, yeah, it's a somewhat disturbing smile. And wow, everyone thought that uh, once Merlin com- uh, completes this spell, uh, the time around the cocoon, the time around Melodas' cocoon will freeze. So, madedeli lalo ang pagiging demon king niya. But it's obvious. It's obvious. It didn't work. Okay. Nakompleto nga ni Merlin yung spell but it didn't work. Nakalabas pa rin si Melodas. So, wow. Right? So this is um, it's a great it's a, it's a really it's a really great episode and um, suspense is killing me right now. <laughs> what will Melodas do now? What will, what will Melodas do now that he is the Demon King? Okay. Ano kaya gagawin nito? Will he still captain the seven deadly sins? Right? That's what we that's what I want to know. So again, the seven deadly sins dragon's judgment episode 10. Two thumbs up, okay. Two thumbs up, mga lifestyle. Next episode. Ah, uh, the title of the next episode has been teaser. Alright? So uh, bye. Alright? So it basically implies that. How will Melion uh then? What will Melionas' demeanor be now? Does he still remember Elizabeth? Alright? Number one. Number two, does he still remember the seven deadly sins? Yung yung group of binu niya. Okay. Well, we'll just have to find out, alright? We'll just have to find out next week.
Long Horizon 3rd Season Episode 11. That is one hell of a character development episode, alright? And it, and it came at an opportune time. The road to the finale. Galing. Right? Uh, si Minori, well, uh, she's not just an... She's now proving herself not just to be a... a not as an office assistant to Shiro. Right? But, wow. And I thought Akatsu is going to take command of the raid. Si Minori... Pinabayaan pa niya si Minori. Right? Uh, well, uh, she, she would rather take on a mentor's role to Minori. Galing. Minori is the raid leader. Final scene. Just as things are, are, are going dark for the young adventurers, here comes Akatsuki. Siya na ang humarap sa ano? Siya na ang humarap sa... Sa genius. This is going to be one hell of an ending. Alright? Overall, it's a really good episode. A great character development episode for... Uh, probably for... For both Minori and Toya. Ay, yung to, si Toya yung... Yung batang swordsman. Alright? So, the pace... Yeah. Pumikap nung... Uh, when everybody agreed on Minori's plan, that's when uh, that's when the pace picked up. Then the flow. Uh, well, the first gear shift happened here when Minori simply took command. He okay? took command of the entire raid. Of the entire raid. So she's practically running on Shiro's advice here. Kung paano i-organize yung raid. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 wow, she's following it to the letter. Okay? She's following it to the letter. And uh, second gear shift came when, of course, uh, in a certain ng genius of kanyang kapangyarihan sa lahat ng mga young adventurers. Final gear shift came when, of course, in the final scene. Ayun. Uh, Akatsuki steps in. Then, well, uh, I don't know. Huh? I, I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, I don't. Want, I don't want to play fortune teller with the finale. But I hope she um, releases. I hope she releases Minori from the teacher system and raises her level up to seventy. I'm on level seventy. Si ano yun? Level seventy. Si Akatsuki. She'll be a big help. Okay. It's a very good episode. Really good episode. Tama tama, road to the finale. So, Dog Horizon third season, episode 11. Mm. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Another thing I, I really liked about this episode was uh, lahat ng kasali sa raid ngayon, except for Akatsuki, wala pang raid experience. Okay? Wala pang raid experience. Wala pang ni isang raid. Nearly all of them, this is their first raid. Okay? And their leader is Minori. Character development wise, this is a great episode. This is a great episode. Speechless. <laughs> so again, Long Horizon 3rd Season Episode 11. So thumbs up. Thumbs up, Twitch. You know what? Uh, I cannot wait for, uh, for for the final episode of season three, right? Na set na, na set na ang pace, eh. pace, flow, and plot. Dito sa episode na to. So wow, I just I simply cannot wait, right? I am a fan of Log Horizon, right? When Log Horizon airs for me, all other easy guys don't matter. <laughs> Uh, even Yasahime, I gotta admit, even Yasahime, and all the other, and all the new isekais that came, uh, that that aired simultaneously with Log Horizon season three, yeah, they're all trash. They're all trash. Basura. 
Basta logo rise na nung kasabay nyo. Okay. Well, for, for most of us kasi, logo rise on is the quintessential isikai anime. Bakit? Kasi, uh, the trans, it, well, the storyline says it, it did not just transport the main, the main protagonist which is Shido. It transported 19,000 plus other players into the game. So, kumbaga, mas easy kay. Hindi lang isang tao ang inisi kay rito. There, there, all in all, there were 20,000 players during, uh, during the catastrophe. Right? When, when the, that, that got uh, involved in the catastrophe. So, talagang ano eh, uh, large scale ang pagka-isikai anime niya. Totally unheard of in the genre. Kasi usually, isang tao lang. Like in, uh, eh nga, uh, in, Yaki, in Yasha, uh, Yugi. Ito, you're, you're talking about 20,000 players getting sucked into the game, into a game they're playing called Elder Tale. 20,000 players! So, the storyline is actually very, very novel. Kaya, uh, kaya, we see it as the quintessential Isikai anime. Ang Globo Horizon. Akaiba talaga story niya. And, and it is an Isikai anime, ya? Yeah? It's an Isikai anime. So, what are we waiting for, guys? Let's take a break so that we can so that we can look forward to the final episode of Log Horizon Season 3. Beastars Second Season, Episode 11. Legacy was at his funniest in one scene. Right? Uh, he wanted Louis to um, <clears throat> witness his fight against uh, his, uh, his impending fight with uh, Riz, but Louis refused. Final scene. Oh, uh, Louis and Ibuki were, uh, were going somewhere in a car. Then when they entered this very dark tunnel, shots were fired. So that, that's, where, that's where the episode ended. Okay. Well done, right? I only got one suspect there. It might be Ibuki. Well, but the, the, the question, but the real question is, who shot who? Okay. Overall, it's a really good setup, right? You can't say it's part one of the uh, two-part finale. No, it's an entirely different. Uh, this is an entirely different story. Okay. Base, yeah, medyo, medyo. understandable. You're setting, you're setting the audience up for the finale, and one full episode will do just that, right? But I like it. I like the pace because uh, in the days leading to uh, to Legacy's fight with Riz, yeah, he really prepared, right? He even ate an insect. Even in a caterpillar, just to just to have him mentally prepared for it, right? The flow, probably the first gear shift was uh, no minuto siya ng mot, <laughs> because the moment he ate that caterpillar, that's when that's when he had that uh, he had that hallelujah moment. <laughs> he had that hallelujah moment. Then suddenly that uh, the big the big moth ghost appeared for him, saying that uh, he, that Legacy just robbed him of a, of a life as a moth because he ate one of those caterpillars, <laughs> right? So, grab it. The second gear shift came when, yeah, during the final scene, shots were fired, and we don't know who shot who. We don't know who shot who. Well, the plot, obvious. It's a standalone plot. It's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, well, 
Beastars won't be ending with a two-part finale. That's for sure. Episode 11 confirms that. Okay? It's a totally different story because it is uh, concentrated on Legacy's uh, build-up leading to this fight with Riz. His final showdown. Right? So to speak. Like I said, it's a great episode. A great setup for the finale. Right? So... Beastars second season episode 11 Thumbs up Thumbs up Bakit? Kasi uh, Well aside from uh, getting, a, getting a potential witness to To the, uh, to the impending carnage Alright um, Riz motivated legacy by uh, by first the way it looks okay by eating by eating pina all right by eating pina uh, although it's not confirmed yet all right it's not confirmed yet but the way it looks all right the way it looks talagang wow okay Riz is the Riz is the villain of season 2 all right yeah his, uh, well, his demeanor his demeanor proves that right he, he has totally embraced the role of villain and herbivore herbivore killer right he's totally embraced the role so legacy has to take him down legacy has to take him down and wow right this will be one final showdown this will be one hell of a final showdown in the finale. I am so looking forward to it. Alright? I am so looking forward to the finale of Beastar Season 2. Because of uh, what I saw in this episode. Grabbing. And wow! Louis wants to quit the Leo group. Okay? Ang tanong, papay pa sila ibukin na magquit siya. Maybe that was the purpose of those gunshots. But uh, we, we don't know. Like I said a while ago, who shot who? Who shot who? Maybe Louis was on his way to, to, to Legacy. Right? Grabe. Grabe yung ano. Grabe yung cambio. Yung mga cambio ng episode na to. Alright? Grabe yung mga cambio. Um... I, I, did I mention the uh, there was another gear shift there that uh, involved? Yeah, I did not mention because I'm going to mention it now. The second gear shift was actually Riz, well, attacking te, uh, attacking Pina, right? Pina was trying to trying to get a confession from Riz. One thing is for sure, he attacked Pina because of that. Now, uh, in his, uh, oh, in their, in their fight, in their impending fight with Legacy, he probably, yeah, I'm just suspect, okay, I'm just sus. He probably ate Pina. Medyo naging close na rin si, si Lego si Tipine. Eh. Right? Kasi well, they got one thing in common. They know, they know who killed them. They know who them's killer is and it was Riz. Right? So, ganda. Right? It's a great, another great episode from Beastars. So again, Beastars second season episode 11. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, Twitch. Well, next week will be the finale. I think it, uh, the way I see it, this is going to top off the season. This is going to uh, what you call this? This is going to upstage the season one finale. Well, we know we all know what happened there, right? We all know what happened there. This will probably uh, this will be a this will probably be a better season finale because. 
si Rizzi. Okay? Malakas ang malakas ang kaaway to. And he's, and he's, wow. Okay? I've never seen a villain. I've never seen a villain in recent memory more psychotic, okay? more uh, more diabolical than Riz. Okay? Talagang ano eh? Uh, talagang pang serious, talagang pang killer ng dating niya. Yes, yeah, siya. Uh, what's called this? Uh, like, 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 as how Louis described it, he has that mascot face. Pero yun po, yun pala po, tarakis. Mamamatay hayop pala to. Mamamatay hayop pala to. It's gonna be a very interesting season finale for Beastars. 